Hello, this is Franco Cabral broadcasting from the Honest Liar podcast, a conversation around finding the inner liar within all of us and leveraging the truth to create expansion across all areas of your life. Today's topic is this. It is time to upgrade your operating system. Just got back from an amazing trip in Hawaii. Uh, Literally, if you haven't been to Hawaii, one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to. And we took hundreds of pictures. I'm so grateful for all the beautiful things that we got to see and this amazing time of connection with my wife. Uh, It's not what this topic of today is about, though. Uh, One of the things that I noticed as I was looking through all of the photos, uh, there was photos that I had of myself that my wife took. And many of them were with, you know, my bathing suit or with my shirt off. We went on some awesome hikes uh, and spent a lot of time outdoors. And I found myself looking at the pictures of myself and being unhappy with the way that I looked. And this is not something that I had experienced in a while. Last year, I spent a lot of time Uh, working on body image stories that I had and really going to war with uh, the way that I thought about myself and the uh, negative stories that I told about myself and, you know, what fitness meant to me was very different than it means to me now. And I thought I had overcome all of the body image stories that I had, but here I was looking at these pictures and I was finding myself focusing on what I hated about my body. And I train pretty often. I'm training about five, six times a week. I'm training for a boxing match. And I look great when I'm comparing myself to the man that I used to be two years ago. So why am I in a place where I'm beating the shit out of myself looking at these pictures I was having a really hard time with this, and it was something that I was feeling over the entire vacation, really. Anytime that I looked back at the pictures, I really kind of glanced quickly past the pictures of myself and focused more when I was reflecting back and just kind of appreciating the beauty that was Hawaii. I found myself looking at pictures of my wife and the landscape significantly more than the ones of myself because I was, I was frustrated with myself, but I wasn't really connecting to what was going on for me inside and why I was feeling the way that I was feeling. So this weekend, uh, it really came to a head for me yesterday when I did a stack, uh, which is a process that I go through journaling uh, that helps me uncover the, the real story behind the stories that I currently have and to get clear on what I'm truly feeling. So the story that I was telling myself uh, yesterday when I did my stack was that I was lying to myself yet again about my body because I had been telling myself that I'm happy with the way that I look. Now, I realize that my happiness is not so much, or lack of happiness, is not so much about the way that I look. And that used to be my old operating system or story that I used to work off of. You know, my fitness had to do with the way that I look. And earlier on, it was really about getting recognition from the people in my life and and other people validating me is the reason why I was working out. And that obviously didn't serve me because it left me feeling empty when I didn't get the validation that I was looking for. Uh, And really, I wasn't able to give myself the validation because that's the one that matters the most. So last year, I went to war with some of those stories, as I mentioned, and I got to a place where I finally learned how to love myself and look at myself and truly be happy with the results and the body that I had. And I did get to that place. So that's part of why it really kind of set me back when I started realizing that some of these feelings were coming up again. And I was trying to figure out, well, why is that the case now when I thought I had destroyed that story previously? And what I learned and realized was that what I was looking at in the pictures wasn't so much about you know whether my six pack was tight enough or whether I you know my my body looked good what I was focusing on was the guilt 
and the shame that I felt because I realized and recognized that I wasn't giving it my best. I knew that I haven't started a diet and it's been something that's been weighing me down mentally uh, and I haven't committed to doing it because my old operating system was still in place, which is I work out to look good. But here I am in a state where I look better than I've ever looked and there really was no fire for me to look any better because I hadn't changed the story that I was operating under and I was still operating from that old story. So I wasn't now recognizing myself the same though because I knew that the new version of myself was capable of much more than who I used to be. So when I was comparing myself to the previous version of myself, that gave me the excuse to sedate and not work out or not diet the same because, hey, I'm better than I used to be. But I also have communicated to myself that I have a different vision of who I want to become. I want to become a fighter. I want to become this guy that can win and be confident in the ring But I can't become that guy if I'm still operating under the old operating system that my workouts are to look good because now my workouts are to become the fighter that I desire to be. And that current story needs to change. Otherwise, I'm never going to become that fighter. So knowing that there was guilt around me not giving it my best was what was really making me feel like shit about the way that I looked. It was that, you know, I knew that if I was doing the things that I knew I should be doing to become the fighter, then my body would look even more elite than it looks now. And that was the lesson that really changed for me yesterday by allowing myself to go into the dark and recognize hey, I'm not happy with the way that I look and it's coming up for me and it was really emotional yesterday going through this process because this is a story that I cried about, I went to war with, um, I did many, many stacks on last year, I got coaching, I talked about in therapy. So to feel like this story was coming back, it was bringing me back to the place that I was last year and it was taking me to this really dark place. But I wasn't actually honoring that darkness to go discover what's the light behind the dark. And this is something that you've heard me talk about if you've listened to any of my other podcasts. The light is found in the night. So I was avoiding dealing with the feelings of you know not feeling good enough that were coming up for me again. And yesterday, I made a different decision. My decision was to go dive straight into it, and that's what gave me the opportunity to uncover this new light that I haven't been giving it my best. The guilt is not necessarily coming from the way my body looks. The guilt was coming from the choices that I was making that were not leading to me having the optimal body that's going to be the one that makes me become the fighter that I desire to be. And then there was fear that's still associated with becoming this fighter. And then the story continues to spiral out of control if I don't allow myself to actually dive into it like I did yesterday. So with taking that leap and going straight into the dark, I was able to then come out of that conversation with myself to then have conversation with my wife. One of the things I realized was that my wife has been on a very solid diet. I'm actually I'm super proud of her. But there's been this underlying resentment that I've been feeling recently and I've been having a difficult time dealing with it and wondering why is it that you know while I've always wanted my wife to be more consistent and find her own path and she's starting to find this path for herself, why am I not happier for her? And I realized that it was because it was highlighting what I wasn't doing for myself. I also realized that I wasn't really giving it my best in my workouts. Yeah, I was showing up, but there's a very different um, energy of when I commit with high intensity as the man that I am now, because the man that I am now is significantly more capable of doing what you know I desire to do, but if I compare myself to who I used to be, then I give myself the opportunity to let off the gas. So I also had a conversation with my coach, letting him know, hey, I'm sorry. 
I haven't been giving you the best of me. And you yet haven't seen me perform at the level that I'm capable of performing. And I need your help. I need you to push me harder because I know that I'm capable of more and I will show you that I'm capable of more as well. So I created a more intense schedule with him as well. Um, And also I'm starting to do two a days, which I've been saying that I was going to do for a long time. And I haven't been because, again, I didn't feel that two a days were necessary to create the body that I wanted because, again, I was comparing myself to who I used to be. So now I'm also I've created a schedule that I've communicated with my wife uh, and have gotten her support so that I can create this new version of myself. The lesson that I want you to take from this is that if you currently have your old operating system in place but desire new outcomes, you're set up for failure. Your mindset has to change for you to create these new outcomes, and the old mindset won't get you to the next level of expansion. To find out where this area is, my ask of you is to schedule some time, 15 to 20 minutes, with yourself where you can journal and you know there's a stack process that I go through if you'd like to learn more about that you can reach out to me uh, by going to francocabral.com contact page and I can help you and coach you on learning that process but for the meantime just go through a journaling process where you do free writing which is you just write for uh, an allotted amount of time I would suggest five to ten minutes at least where you pick the biggest anchor in your life, anchor meaning the area that's holding you back the most, whether your body, your being, balance, or business, and you just journal about what is your current story that's operating that portion of your life. And then you ask yourself the question, what is the opposite version of that story? And then you start to journal on how is that story true? And this is part of the stack process, uh, again, that I can teach you. If you'd like, just reach out to me. Uh, But that's my ask for today's podcast. As always, if you've gotten value out of this podcast, I ask you to please share, rate, and review the show as it helps with spreading more light, which is my mission, as you know. And I'm grateful for the time and space that you've provided by listening to this podcast. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.